Greetings engineers, Brown here from Great B Gaming and this is episode 12 of Material Energy Natural Capital. So let's look at what we're going to be doing today. I should probably start another book because this is getting pretty long now. First of all, I'ma fire my laser. And then it's a me, Mario. So first of all, what have I been doing in between episodes? Well, you can see here I've set up a little bit of power. So we have 10 of these running right now. And the way it works is in the middle, I've set up one to, uh, let me look here. So this was the key that was missing last episode. You need a wrench to configure these things. So this is why it was not working. So if I right click with a wrench, you can now see sugar canes go into either this one or this one. And up top, we have coal dust. So this is how all of these are set up right now. And this is why we have, they're all full of power. They are completely full of power. So we're gonna be using that power. How? Well, we're gonna be making lasers. So an assembly table, finally. So if we look here, I have the famous T-cross design here. So we'll be putting laser on top of here and an assembly table here. This is a temporary setup. I wanna be as close to my power as possible for now. Uh, later on, we'll put it somewhere else. And we're gonna need the assembly table to do part two, that what we wanna do. So let's start with the assembly table. First of all, um, let's go with the table. The table requires three iron plates pretty easy to do, two inserters, very easy to do, uh, one basic control unit, so if you look here, it's this, we do have a couple of these, I'm not gonna use these, well, I might use this for this one just to show you, but, and then I need three machine blocks, and this is where things get ugly. So I need one node, four iron gears, and four either circuits or control units for each. And for every laser, Again, two of these plus four plus three, so that's 12. That is gonna be a lot of stuff. So I need 12 gears per piece that I want. Um, let's start with, let's say, two or three lasers, okay? So I'm gonna need a lot of iron gears. Thankfully, a couple of episodes back, uh, if you remember, I created a bunch of iron gears. So we're gonna be grabbing all of these here. Uh, I do want some rubber. I'm gonna grab all the rubber because we're gonna be making copper cable. I'm pretty sure I'll need to do is this, this, and then this. Nope, that's not how you do it. Okay, let's see. Oh, it needs to be LV wire. Really? Okay, okay. Um, I do have some LV wire coil right here. Perfect. I'm gonna set this up like here. Okay, that's, that's a good amount. At least we have two stacks. And now we're gonna need uh, refine iron and some redstone. So let's go over here. I do have a bunch of refined iron right over here. And I do have redstone, perfect. So we're just gonna set this up over here like so. Grab all these copper cables. Perfect, so 21. That is not a lot. I'm gonna need more of that. So let's make some more redstone. I forgot how to make redstone. Uh, where are you? Okay, so let's get two stacks. That should be good, perfect. And then go back here. 34, so that should be enough for a couple of them. Let's see. So let's start with the machine blocks. I'm gonna need nodes. Do I have any extra nodes? I do believe I have some somewhere. Perfect. I have some over here. 
So let's start with, whoop, that's not what I wanted. Uh, eight. That's all I can do, really. So let's go with six. You know, we'll start with one laser for now. And I'll probably make more later on. And then I need two inserters and three iron plates. Uh, do I have any iron plates here? I do not. Do I have inserters? I do not. I think I have some over here, though. Yes, I do. Uh, I don't have any inserters. That's weird. I usually made a bunch, but I guess I've been using all of them. Okay, how do you make inserters? Uh, look over here. Yeah, it's just an iron gear and a forging hammer. Okay, so let's start making, uh, make 16. That should be enough. I need what, two? Yeah, I need two for this, and I don't need any for that, so I'm okay here. That's one. We'll just wait for the owner. While this is going, let's just make our laser right away. Laser? Thank you. No, I don't want two lasers for now. Grab this one. Um, where am I going to put this? Oh, they stack. Perfect. Make an assembly table. And presto. We now have a laser and assembly table. Oh, by the way, I have a new pick that I've had to make because, well, my old pick disappeared. I have no idea why. It just disappeared. So I probably trashed it by mistake or something. We're going to put this here. We're going to put our one laser here. And it's getting filled up with mucho power. And you know what? Let's start making something right away because I'm going to need a lot of not redstone chipsets. I'm going to need a lot of iron, iron. One, two, three. Perfect. I'm going to need a bunch of iron chipsets for the second part. So I'm going to start this right away. And is it going to work? Yes. So I should have more than enough power in this thing to fill up one laser, but, oh wow. Oh wow, that takes a lot, iron chips at how much? 200,000 RF. Okay, that's a lot of RF. So I need uh, a lot more lasers. So if I need more lasers, I need more electronic circuits. So let's make a bunch more of these wire coils. Nope, that's not how you make it. What is that? Oh, really? Okay. So what's the recipe for that? Okay, I need sticks. Is it any stick or is it? Yeah, just any stick will do. We'll do this, this, and there we go. That's 64, and you'll just, just put these around here, just so I have more, perfect. So now I put these here, I go grab more rubber because I don't have any more rubber on me. Let's just go over there. So we really need these iron chipsets for the second part that we want to do which is basically improving our piping system that we have over here. Because right now, it is badly set up. This is, this is really horrible. Um, I should have done, yeah, I should have removed all of this and not used this, so this is, this is pretty terribly bad. But anyway, do I have one? I don't. Oh, I need to put a chest next to it, right? Yeah, you need a chest so that they go inside of it. So let's put a chest right over here. Perfect. So
So I wanted to put Thank you, and I'll put you too. And that's only five, so that's not enough. So let's pick all of this up. Perfect. And then we'll make more. 22 more, so I should be able to make, if I go here, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's two more lasers. And one here, and one here. So we now tripled our speed. <laughs> that is still very, very slow. <laughs> okay, so what I made, I have made something called a logistics pipe controller. So the recipe for this is very, very easy. Just gold ingot, gold gear, and that's it. So this enables you to right click on one. Um, let's right click here. And it allows you to put upgrades inside of it. Okay, so if you right click, you can now insert upgrades. So now the upgrades that I wanna put in is, there's a problem, there's a reason I have two pipes like this. It's because uh, the calculator has to put the coal dust on top and the sugar canes on the sides. So that's why on top here, I use my wrench, I have coal dust and that's why on the side here, I have sugar canes. So we're gonna be installing something called, let me look it up here, a sneaky upgrade. Uh, so the first thing we need to make is a sneaky combination upgrade. So that's why we need the iron chipset. This is gonna allow us to put in a couple of sneaky upgrades. So the idea being, I go here, right click, put in a sneaky combination upgrade, and then I add an up upgrade and a whatever direction let's, you know let, let, let's just say north upgrade you know we, we just don't care about the direction here and what this is going to do it's going to try to insert stuff on top up and if it doesn't work it's going to try north so it's going to try one side so this way i can have one pipe that does both jobs insert on top and on the side so i won't need to double up on these pipes here so the main advantage of that is I'll be able to make this thing more compact because right now you can see that it's it's really a mess. So all of this really has to change. Um, we're gonna be making a lot more compact and so that we can have just more machine just stacked one on top of each other. But for that, I need to start with an iron chipset. Do I have one? I have two, wow. How cool is that? Okay, combination upgrade. I need paper and redstone. I do believe I have some paper from last time that we did. Yep, I got some paper here. Perfect, so let's make two. Great. And now I need two up. Oh, I should have waited, okay. So let's just wait it out here. Just gonna put this stuff back in here. Perfect. Ah, uh, do I need you? I don't need you. I don't need you. Okay, so we have another one here. Great. So we're gonna do up first. No. I have paper. Oh, I am missing glue, or slime balls, or gelatinous slide. I have all of that, actually. Um, what am I gonna use? Glue is what I have the most of, so I could use that, but I also have a lot of, nope, I'm 
pretty sure I have a lot of genital slime because I'm on top of a slime island. Well, I'm below a slime island. So they just keep falling on top of me and I just keep killing them. So, perfect. We'll just grab a bunch of these. Let's start with the up. There we go. And this back here. Oh, I have another one ready. Perfect. And it will go with uh, which direction? Let's go north. Oh, I thought it needed a peach. I was scared there for a second. North. Perfect. So the way this is going to work here. Um, so do I want to go on top? or on the side uh, you know what let's just do the side here I'm gonna break this break this uh, bring it down a notch so I'm gonna go here here and then this here put the block back and now put in my uh, supplier logistic pipe. So in theory, I won't need this and I won't need this anymore. So this is all cut off right now. It's normal, I just wanna see if it works. Well, I'm pretty sure it works, but let's see. So supplier, right click with a wrench. And then I do uh, no, no, no. I need to put the upgrade first. So right click, upgrade, combination, and then up or north. Yep, that's what I got to do. And then I'll just remove everything that's in here. And right click with a wrench and say I want 16 or 32. And it should be able to fill it up. Oh, it's red right now. Oh, because it has no power. Um, just give me one moment here. This is just temporary. I, I just want to set up with some power here. That's not power. There we go. Okay, so will this work? I have the 32, which is the side, but the top one is the important one. Come on, come on. Yeah, you can see here he's requesting. And I don't think it worked. North, up, up and north. So did it work? I don't think so. I think I have, I got the coal dust on me now. Is it requesting more? Let's see. Come on, come on. I don't know why it's not requesting more. Yeah, it's requesting 16. It's powered up, huh? So I am not really sure what's happening right now. I said vote. Oh, is it the fill mode? I can do partial, so it requests partial of what it needs. Because it had the 32, so it might have just stopped there. 
and not request any coal, I guess. Maybe I need to put one to prime the pump or something? So I can request more? I see the request being sent. I don't think I'm out of coal up there. Oh, there we go. There we go. And it did not work. Yeah, I just got them on me because they're stuck. Okay. So let's try it on top. Uh, let's go here. This is what I want. Uh, again. And, um, is this one? Okay. Actually, let's put, let's put this here and let's put our supplier pipe back on top because maybe on top is how it needs to be let's go here uh, combination upgrade up or north and then wrench it actually let me remove these wrench it and now I want 16 or you know what 16 there we go let's see if this works come on come on and it okay so it needs to be on top so from the side even the boat commands do not seem to work but if I put the sneaky it seems to work on top. So perfect. So all I need to do now is change all of these and it's gonna be all stacked on top of each other. So I can have rows right next to each other here, have the power go under like this and just have row, row, row and maybe even make a second. If I go here, one, two, so yeah, I can make a second row up top and just have a some massive power ge generation going through this thing. So it's gonna take uh, a little bit of work, but at least I'm generating iron chipsets and we're gonna be making a lot more stuff with this uh, little assembly here. I hate that you can't jump out of here. There we go, I'll keep it because I'll be changing all of this i'm going to be pushing all of this back and stack them stacking them all appropriately so fellow engineers this is going to be a short episode for now because i have a lot of work to do in between episodes i have to move all of this stuff and i don't want to do it on camera it's going to be really boring just waiting for all my chipsets and then putting all this stuff in so I have been Brillen. This has been a short episode 12. If you liked the video, please press like, subscribe for more content, and fellow engineers, just keep on.